So this is computer generated chess problem 00782 by Chestetica. Now in this position, black has got a rook, a bishop and two pawns. That's the equivalent of about 10 Shannon points or pawn units. And white has got three minor pieces, two knights, a bishop and two pawns, which is the equivalent of 11 pawn units. So white is not significantly ahead. But at the same time, the bishop on b5 is in a position to be captured. And this is precisely what a beginner or intermediate player might do. But there's actually a mate in 3 here. And I will now show you the solution. So as you can see, there are other ways to win as well. Many other ways. But the shortest one, by far, is the mate in 3. And it is the curious move king to b8. Now the reason this works is because this blocks the king's escape square to a7 and there's really nothing much that black can do about it. If black were to try some alternative like b3, well then white wins immediately with knight to b4. That's basically the plan here. The threat is to play knight to b4 or knight captures b4. But what if uh, black tried something else like bishop captures a4? Again, it's knight to b4. So how do you prevent knight captures b4 or the knight moving to the b4 square? You do that by playing rook captures a4. And it would seem as if this solved the problem. But it makes way for another path to the checkmate, which is c captures b5 check. Now white has to be careful not to play bishop captures b5 because this delays it a bit more. So c captures b5, and now there's only one move, king to a5, and now the other knight comes into play, knight to c4, checkmate. Thanks for watching.